From receiving birthday cards to vital medications and of course bills that are due, it is now a worry among many Americans. It comes after the U.S. Postmaster General faced backlash for removing mailboxes from around the country and today people are planning to take action. Mari Sirianni joins us now from the post office on Hosea Williams Drive in Northeast Atlanta where people are planning a day of protest. Mara, this is really meant to support the U.S. Postal Service. Explain for us. It is. So as you mentioned, Christy, I'm here at the Eastwood Station Post Office and people plan to show up here at 11 o'clock this morning to protest what they call the president's attack on the mail agency. And really, this is happening across the country today. Several planned protests at uh, mail agencies across the nation. So according to their website, this is an organized movement powered by groups, including Move On and the NAACP. People are asked to show up and demand that Postmaster General Louis DeJoy resign. This comes as DeJoy assured Congress from Friday that the U.S. Postal Service will be able to process the nation's mail-in ballots this November. He also defended his actions to make the Postal Service run more efficiently. Now, critics accused DeJoy of meddling with the mail agency and say during a pandemic, the Postal Service is essential to democracy as the safest way to vote. Now, as far as the protests go, the call to action asks people to show up in uh, groups of 50 people or less. Make sure to bring your mask if you do plan to show up to one of these protests today again at several uh, post offices across the country. We know that several are planned for uh, post offices across the state of Georgia. Christy. All right, Mara, thank you for the update.